In this video, we're talking about points of concurrency um, and uh, inside a triangle. And uh, concurrent means when three or more lines intersect at a single point. Uh, used in a normal language, when we say some, two things are concurrent, that means they're happening um, at the same time. Uh, and so a uh, uh, concurrent lines are lines that intersect at the same place. Uh, a point of concurrency is just a point where these three or more lines intersect each other. And in a triangle, there's actually um, a bunch of different points of concurrency that are have significant meaning and also some very important properties about them. Uh, the first one we're talking about is what's called the circumcenter. And the circumcenter has a, a couple of different uh, definitions to it that we need to know all of them and understand how they all interact uh, interact together. So the first thing is the circumcenter is the point of concurrency of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. So the circumcenter, the first way we're going to define it is we're going to say if you draw in the perpendicular bisectors, um, then um, they intersect at a single point, and at that single point is going to be called the circumcenter. And so if we um, just kind of take a quick look at this, if we draw just a random triangle, remember a perpendicular bisector goes through the midpoint of the side and then is perpendicular to the side. And so just kind of sketching them in here. This would be the perpendicular bisectors of this triangle. And they have this single point, and that single point is called the circumcenter. Okay, there is a theorem about circumcenters, and so we call it theorem 5 6. And theorem 5 6 is called the circumcenter theorem. And what it sa says is the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle intersect at a point. We now know that point's called the circumcenter. So intersect at a point that is equidistant from the vertices. And to prove this theorem, what we um, can utilize is what's called the perpendicular bisector theorem. And so the perpendicular bisector theorem says any point that is on the perpendicular bisector um, is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So for example, this point right here, the circumcenter, the one I'm just doing in red, is on the perpendicular bisector of, if we label the points here, AB. So that means if I go to the endpoints A and B of that segment, the distance from those points to the circumcenter is the same. That's called the perpendicular bisector theorem. You can prove that by doing congruent triangles. But then it's uh, this point, uh, the circumcenter, we'll call D, is also on this perpendicular bisector. And so that means it's on the endpoint, uh, equidistant from the endpoints of that segment, which are A and C. And so when I draw in the segment from the D to C, that's gonna be the same as the distance from A to D, which is the same as the distance from B to D. And so that's what this theorem is saying is the circumcenter, the point where the um, perpendicular bisectors intersect is actually equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. And that comes entirely from the perpendicular bisector theorem. And then directly from that, and this is an important thing to keep in mind, um, if you have a situation where you have a point and then some multiple things that are equidistant from that point, equally distant away from it, those things are going to form a circle. And so if you can see, we think about this as the center of the circle, and then that circle is going to go through those vertices. And we know that there is a circle that goes through those vertices because with that center, because we have three radius BD, 
A, D, and C, D drawn in that are all the same distance apart. And so that that's what the definition of a circle is. And so that means the um, circumcenter is also the center of the circumscribed Um, the circumscribed circle of a triangle. And a circumscribed circle is the circle that goes around the outside. Circumscribed means you're going outside. So if you got a, cir a circle that is circumscribed, that means the circle is going on the outside of the triangle. And by outside of the triangle, we mean through the three vertices. And so not only is D equidistant from the vertices, but because it's equidistant from the vertices, it's the center of that circle. And that actually is a very powerful thing. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. But if you ever need to find the, if you've got a circle here and you ever need to find the center of the circle, what you can do is just pick three random points on the circle, draw in the, the chords. And if you find the perpendicular bisectors of those, I'm just kind of sketching them, that point where those perpendicular bisectors intersect is the center of the circle. So it's a way of finding the center of a circle if you don't have any other way of finding it um, but to put in the perpendicular bisectors like I just did. The um, other thing um, that you want to remember about this is exactly what a perpendicular bisector is. Make sure you, when you start thinking about um, these different segments that are in triangles, a perpendicular bisector is actually one that doesn't require that it's in a triangle for it to exist. It's actually just from a segment. And so you just remember, I need the midpoint and it has to be perpendicular to that segment to find out what the um, perpendicular bisector is. Okay, so that's circumcenters. Um, it has to do with uh, perpendicular bisectors and it also has to do with this idea of this circumcircle um, and um, intersecting at the circumcenter.